spins one of the greatest guitars of all time list. If I'm honest, I've never heard of spin. Well, I've heard, I believe I've heard them in, you know, uh, one of the many critiques or, you know, critics list. You know, if you go to Wikipedia, then you probably see spin somewhere. I know them of that. I know they're critics. But yeah, besides that, I don't have any clue on them. So there we go. I'll probably make this video like half an hour. Um, this video is requested by a music fan. He wanted something to replace the Rolling Stone shit with something else on Sunday. Um, and I'm open for that. But nobody really has requested something at the moment. I only know, um, you know, Rolling Stone and what is the thing? Um, Loudwire. He, he wanted me to do some Loudwire as well, so I can do that. If you guys want to. Um, music fan did say he wanted Loudwire, you know, me to react to Loudwire. Although I've seen mostly all of the Loudwire videos, but I can still react to them, I guess. Still give my uh, feedback on it, I guess. But, um, yeah, but le he hasn't really requested something specific, you know, do this video or this one. Or maybe he did, but I forgot. So we're just gonna go through this video. It does not include uh, Spin doesn't worship guitar gods, and Stevie T made kind of a statement in his videos. You know that there actually are some guitar guitar gods on the video, which doesn't make any sense. We like our we like our ex wielders to be flawed, resourceful, egalitarian. What the fuck even means that? And human. So it all means shredders, I guess, you know, with human, just, you know, a lot of melodic feels, I guess. Uh, to celebrate the new generation of shredders profiled in our May-June loud issue, the spin staff decided to find some Weedle in a haystack, taking on the impossible task of ranking our favorite guitar players of all time. Traditionally, the greatest guitarist timeline begins with Robert, J Robert Johnson, magically conjuring the blues near nearest perfection with Eric Clapton mutating its uh, beat uh, I think they mean beautifully or something but they forgot a U so it says beat beatifically what the fuck even means that uh, and then ultimately reaches a boomer baiting rock and roll hall of fame Apothe who the fuck uses these words what the fuck you know, spin is probably that really high ass prick that uses these impossible words to pronounce and they think, oh yeah, we're fucking intelligent. But nobody knows what you're on about. Fucking hell. And yeah, I'm not even in the list already and they pissed me off already. Fucking hell. Uh, music fan also said that uh, the, the Rolling Stone list is godlike compared to this. So spin is already pissing me off, man. And I'm not even on the list, man. Jesus. With the free-spirited Jimi Hendrix shooting it into space like feedback later in fireworks for this list. We fear toward the alternative canon that kicks in with the Velvet Underground trying to erase the form entirely. Making guitar solos gouge and using instruments and... Sadomasist... Who the fuck you... Seriously, have you ever said in your life, hmm, yeah. Uh, this is very sado mushrooms. <laughs> the fuck spin, the fuck. You know, they probably you never use these words except for this article, so they look smart. But nobody knows what you're on about. Jesus, don't fucking use these impossible to pronounce words. What the fuck? Tools for hammering out sheets of white heat. As you will see, our list embraces outsiders Trailblazers, Outliers, and Eugene Chadbourne playing a rake. We don't wor worship guitar gods, but prefer our axes wielders to be resourceful. Egalitarian, what the fuck even that means, flat and human. We're not drawn to Olympic feats of fleet fingered athletics, shredding. Unless they're used for unique and ex exploratory ends. We see the mewling his. his Histrionics of Jeff Beck's as tyranny instead of catharsis. The name Derek Trucks is 
practically alien to us. So why do you mention it? But maybe we're overthinking all this. Shut up and play your guitar. Christopher R. R. Wayne Garden, all in caps. Yeah, so we're five minutes in. Um, yeah, it's the same thing with the Rolling Stone shit. If I like it, I'm gonna talk about it. If I hate it, I'm gonna talk about it. If I'm, if it's a gray area for me, I'm just gonna say the name and move on, the number, etc. Number 100, which Stevie T also mentioned in his video, Skrillex. What the fuck? <laughs> Skrillex is not a... I mean, he did play guitar in his emo days, but that band is horrible. And I mean, Skrillex is not known to be a gu guitar, so what the fuck, Spin? What the fuck? I'm not gonna talk any more smack about Skrillex because I fucking hate dubstep. Of, you know, Skrillex is the creator of it, so fucking hate it. Uh, Paul Solnier, PS, I love you. Mark, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say the numbers. Well, 99 is Paul Solnier. Number 98 is Mark Morgan of Sidings. Number 97 is Ira Kaplan of Yoli Yola Tango. What a great name. Number 96 is David Payo of Slint. Number 95 is Bill Steer of Napalm Death and Carcass. Um, I know Carcass, I know Napalm Death as well, but uh, definitely a big Carcass fan, but I've never really listened to Napalm Death, Napalm Death if I'm honest. And if I'm, um, if I'm sure, these guys are shredders, or Bill Steer's a shredder. So I don't know why they include it, because they don't want uh, athletic, you know, picks on their list. But this is kind of the thing right here. So I don't know what you're on about spin, but uh, Bill Steer's kind of a shredder, but yeah, fuck you. Number 94 is Ibrahim Ak Al Habib from Tina Rirwin. What the fuck? Number 93 is Annie Clark from St. Vincent. Number 92 is James Blacksaw, who is apparently not in the band, but solo. Number 91 is Fifth Albertine from The Slits. Um, I believe twice The Slits now? Fuck no. Uh, number 90 is Trey Azaktov of Morbid Angel. Another Shredder, Shredder I believe. Uh, I love Morbid Angel, one of my favorite death metal bands. But I believe, I'm pretty sure Trey is a Shredder. I've listened to some Morbid Angel in my, in my life and yeah, he's definitely a Shredder. So again, no athletic picks, but Trey is exactly that, so what the fuck. Number 89 is Nick Zinner of the YAS. Number 88 is Dylan, uh, Dylan Carlson of Earth. Number 87 is Marnie Stern. Number 86 is Ian McKay and Guy Picciotto from Vugasi. Number 85 is Stone Gosser of Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. Uh, honestly, I love Pearl Jam. I love their, you know, their 90s output. Not the biggest fan of their post uh, stuff, but uh, I think that Stone Gosser is a solid guitarist. I don't, you know, I do love him some Pearl Jam, but I don't think he deserves to be in the top 100. His playing style is good. It is solid for what it is, but it's not top 100 worthy. Number 84 is Lydia Lunch. Uh, number 83 is Joss Holm. Uh, they, don't, they don't say the band name, but Joss Holm is of course from uh, Queens of the Stone Age. And I don't know why they don't say that, but uh, fuck no. But good guitar, he's a bit of a dick, but you know, that doesn't matter for his playing because he's still good. Number 82 is Kristen Harris, Throne Muses. Number 81 is KG Heno. Um, and then it ends. What the fuck? What the fuck? It ends at number 81, so... Uh, does it need to load or something? What the fuck? Yeah, that is it. Uh, oh, next. There we go. <laughs> Read before you fucking uh, give up, Jesus Christ. Uh, number 80, Dave Navarro, James Addiction and Real Chili Peppers. Uh, he was in... James Addiction, I believe in the 80s. And later he joined the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, he's good, but he didn't really work with the, with the Peppers since he was a bit too metal for them. <coughs> uh, but still good guitars, he's not you know, my cup of tea, but I still respect him. Um, 79 is Dwayne Dennison from the Jesus Lizard. 
Number 78 is Vernon Reed from Living Color. Number 77 is M Marissa Paternoster from Screaming Females. Number 76 is Bernard Sommer from Joy Division and New Order. Number 75 is Bert Jench. Number 74 is Lenny K, Paddy Smith Group. Number 73 is Mick Barr uh, from Oral. These are fucking names, man. Oral Traum Crowders, I don't know. I'm not even, not even gonna try. Uh, 72 we have Arto Lindsay. 71 is Adrian Bellu. And I need fucking next again. Number 70 is Jerry Harrison. Number 69 is Eugene Chadbourne. Number 68 is Ben Wehman uh, from the Dillinger Escape Plan. Number 67 is Kim Tayul from uh, Soundgarden. Uh, great guitars, great band. I love his uh, style. Very psychedelic in a way. Very, not really progressive, but it just sounds very melodic. With a little bit of prog, not really. It's a little bit heavy. It has a little bit of both. That's why Olof Soundgarden and Kim Tayul is a key part of that. Number 66 is Roland, S. Howard and Mick Harvey, the birthday party. Number 65 is Mick Ronson from David Bowie and Morrissey. Number 64 is Wino. Uh, number 63 is Billy Corgan from the Smashing Pumpkins. Um, he is a good guitarist. I do like his playing. A little bit of a dick of course. Uh, but that doesn't, you know, matter for the playing. Um, yeah, he's good, like I said. I do like it. It's overall solid, but I wouldn't put him on the list. I'm still a fan of the Pumpkins, for sure. Number 62 is Tony Maiden from Rufus. Number 61 is Shuggy Otis. Number 60... Fucking next again. With every 10 picks, you have to go there next for some reason. Uh, oh, wow, uh, Chuck Schuldner from Death. Uh, yeah, of course, Death, one of my favorite bands of all time. I do love that he is on the list. Um, but again, he is a shredder. Uh, and they mentioned Twisted Sister in the first line. Fucking hell, man. But, what, what a way to piss on uh, Chuck's grave, man. Uh, but of course, big fan of Chuck. I love Chuck. Uh, full homo for him. Uh, Death is great. My favorite death metal band of all time, no question right there. Um, yeah, of course, incredible guitarist, incredible musician, incredible person. There's everything about Chuck is great. He should have been way higher in my opinion, but uh, I'm still glad that he made the list nonetheless. Then we have 59, Kurt Kirkwood from Meat Puppets. 58 is Sid Barrett. I never knew Sid Barrett played guitar, uh, but apparently he did. Although, you know, everybody and their mother prefers David Gilmore, but I still like shit. He's a little bit of a weird ass fucking guy, but you know, still respect that he made it. 57 is Doug March from Build to Spill. Number 56 is Kim and Kelly Deal, uh, the Kim and Kelly Deal, the Breeders. Uh, number, 55, number 55 is Fred Fritz. Number 54 is Euronymous from Mayhem. Um, yeah, and most of us know, uh, know your, fucking hell, Euronymous from, you know, the step party with, uh, with Burzum, of course, with, uh, Vark. Um, I've never really listened to Mayhem, I still need to pick them up, but I am interested to hear them. Uh, great black metal band, uh, rest in peace, Euronymous. And uh, Vark, you're a crazy fucking guy, but maybe you're, you're even going to make this list, really. Probably not, but who knows. Uh, 53 is Greg Sage from Wipers. It would be funny if 53 was Vark, though. That would be pretty funny. And you know he stepped his way to, to the top. Fucking hell. Uh, 52 is Johnny Thunders. Number 51 is Robbie Basho. Number 50 is... Wayne Kramer and Fred from Sonic Smith, uh, MC5. 49 is Zoothorn Rollo, the Magic Band. 48 is Bob Mult. 47 is Mark Ribbett. 46 is Dime Bag Daryl, fucking hell, Dime Bag Daryl from Pantera. And I thought that they didn't wanted wanted to include guitar, 
fucking hell ominous. I thought that Spin didn't want to include Guitar Gods on their list. But I'm pretty sure that Don McDowell is Guitar God. You know, Stevie T mentioned this in this video as well. So your logic right there, straight out of the fucking roof. But, uh, you know, I love Pantera, I love uh, Dimebag, great guitarist. Um, fuck that Marine guy, but, you know, he's de deaf anyway, so it doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter, but, you know, the, the killer is killed, so, you know, you can't really revenge Dimebag, I guess. But still, it is still a big loss in the metal community, and, you know, he will always be one of the biggest legends of all time. Number 45 is Rice Ch Chatham. Number 44 is John McLaughlin. Uh, 43 is Nels Klein. Uh, number 42 is King Sunni uh, Ade. 41 is Nell Rogers of Chick. Number 40 is Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine. Big Rage fan, uh, love Tom Morello, uh, of course, in Rage, but I would also include Audio Slave, but you know, they just say Rage Against the Machine, so that is fair. Uh, I would wish that they had a little, a few more records because um, it was it was so fantastic on the self-titled one. It was very bluesy and very chill on the Evil Empire record, and it was just insane on the um, on the the Battle of Los Angeles. You know, I believe it was Testify where he went like two. You know, that's crazy guitar mode. I fucking love that. Um, it is unfortunate that he stopped after that. Maybe one more record would do it for me. But I still have a covers record, which is pretty neat. So I still really love Rage. Great band and Tom Morello. Death for that. Death for, uh, for that legend. Number 39 is Carrie Brownstein from Sleater, Kinney and Wild Flag. 38 is Stephen Malkmus from Pavement the Jigs. Number 37 is uh, Ali Farka Turi. Number 36 is James Blood Ulmer. Number 35 is Dr. No, Bad Brains. Uh, 34 is Justin Broderick from Napalm Death and Godflash God and Jesu. Number 33 is Jack White. I like Jack White. I'm not the biggest fan of him, but I still like his, you know, his overall style. He's kind of a bluesy, simplistic artist, but he's still nice and he still, he did define the, the zeros, the 2000s, I guess. The noughties, fucking hell. Um, good guitars, I still respect him, but I'm, I never was the biggest fan of the Wild Stars, but still respect for his, uh, his influence, influence and his legacy. Number 32 two is Robert Quinn. Number 31 is Derek Bailey. Number 30 is... If the damn, damn thing will load, fucking hell. Uh, number 30 is King Buzzo from uh, Melvin's, and I thought it was called uh, Os Osborne Bus Osborne or something. I thought that was his name, but King Buzzo may be his stage name, I don't know. But uh, big fan of the Melvin's, of course, they are kind of a sludge metal and a grunge band. I would say they are kind of the first grunge band ever. I love his guitar playing, it's really raw and really heavy sounding, it's just great, it's gritty, ballsy. Just everything that I like about heavy music, King Buzzo has it and the Melvins, you know. Great band, arguably the greatest grunge band of all time. Not my favorite, but arguably the greatest and the most influential ones, so there we go. 29 is Johnny Greenwood from uh, Radiohead, of course, a great guitar. He's a bit shy, if you look at him, he is kind of, you know, back or he... You know, he, he isn't really the most uh, showing of guitars, if you will, so. I uh, love Radiohead, great band, flawless band, really, if you want to argue. Uh, incredible, you know, of course, kind of his debut was, you know, with Cree when he slammed his guitar. And it was kind of on purpose because he wanted to, uh, he wanted to make it sound shit because he didn't care. But that cringe sounds now iconic, so I really love, you know, that ironic thing that they did there. That they did there. They kind of went Britpop-ish in 95 with the bands. All of the bands. It's kind of a Britpop record. Kind of. 
Um, a lot of songs on there, really mellow nature. Okay, computer is a masterpiece, of course. Blending uh, the future with the, you know, with the past, with uh, with Pablo Honey, but even better. And the bands kind of, you know, more controlled and more interesting. Uh, so overall, jo Johnny's uh, playing style is great. I love uh, Radiohead and I love Johnny. Love the other brother. Uh, I'm not sure what his name was again. I believe he's the drummer, but you know, who can blame me? Well, you can blame me, but uh, you know, I forgot, so fuck off. Uh, then we have 28, which is Glenn Branca. 27 is PJ Harvey. Number 26 is Johnny Marr from um, the Smiths, of course. And I don't know why they don't include the Smiths on there, but you know, Johnny Marr was apparently in more bands. Um, love Johnny, love the Smiths. Um, of course, Morrissey is a dick, but he still made great music. You know, being a dick doesn't mean you, you know you don't have good songs. So overall, love Johnny Marr. Uh, great guitar playing, very melodic, simplistic as well, but it is great music, and that is what matters. Number twenty-five is Robert Fripp from King Crimson, and although. He probably is gonna strike me because I mentioned King Crimson in a video and King Crimson aka Robert Fripp doesn't want to be on YouTube. Or Robert Fripp aka King Crimson I should say is, you know, he is a really secure guy. He is up there with the Beatles for not wanting to be on YouTube. Fucking hell. Although the Beatles do post music videos now but that is by their label, money, money, money. Um, but Robert Fripp, you know, he is, he is kind of a dick in that department that you can't really listen to his music online. He strikes you down if you do. Um, but I can understand that because, you know, uh, vinyl or CD is the way to go. Um, online is a very ugly way to listen to music. But sometimes it's just faster and just, you know, yeah, just faster, it's quicker, it's more, um, it's just, you know, Quicker to go to, I guess, to to find your source, I guess. But you know, Robert Fripp, great guitars. You know, besides that, I can't really blame on anything in the Court of the Crimson King. Very progressive, uh, Red, of course, and uh, Sun, I believe, great records. Uh, Robert Fripp is a legend. I love his guitar playing. Very pro progressive, very you know, um, dark. Sounds very heavy. Was kind of commercial in the '80s. So Robert Fripp is diverse, I love him, and you know King Crimson is a great pro band, arguably the best. Uh, then we have 24 which is Steve Albini from Big Black and Shellac. Uh, 23 is Robin Guthrie from Cocktail Twins, This Mortal Coil. Number 22 is Jimmy Nolan from Jane Run. Number 21 is Sonny Sherrock. Uh, to 20, there we go, 10 more minutes. Number 20 is Neil Young. Number 19 is D. Boone from Middleman. Number 18 is Tony Ayomi from Black Sabbath. I love Tony Ayomi. Uh, he, he is arguably the best riff rider in metal and arguably of all time. His riffs are incredible on the first three records. I love uh, the riffs on Volume 4. The Sabbath, uh, the bloody Sabbath riffs are really underrated. Sabotage, great record. Uh, kind of more rock in a way because the songs are longer and more experimental all of us experimentation um you know with the the ending albums with ozzy i don't love them but i still like them um and i like the dio years you know he did something really great on those records really theatrical and really anthemic so tony ayomi is a legend black sabbath is arguably the greatest metal band of all time not my personal favorite but they're still way up there as one of the greats, of course, so there we go. Number 17 is Lou Reed from uh, Lou Reed and Sterling Morrison. Um, yeah, of course from the Velvet Underground. I love the Velvet Underground. Uh, Lou Reed is a very emotional driven guitarist. A lot of melody in his uh, playing and just a very incredible musician. Very experimental, I have to say that. So if you're into that, check him out. But if you're more of a straight rocker, I would not suggest Velvet Underground because they're too great for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding there. Uh, number 16 is Frank's, Frank Zappa. Kind of implies what I just said to uh, Lou Reed and that other guy, uh, Sterling Morrison. 
Uh, Frank Zapp is kind of the same, more, more proggy. He's kind of a funnier artist, uh, incredible musician, rest in peace to Frank Zappa. He was a great artist and I'm really glad to, to see that he's at the top. Number 15 is Greg Ginn from Black Flag. Number 14 is Kerry King and Jeff Hanneman from Slayer. And I don't understand this because they don't want music to be an athletic sport. But still they have Kerry King and Jeff Hanneman on there. Honestly, I would only uh, put Jeff Hanneman on there if I'm really honest because Kerry King is kind of a dick and his guitar playing is kind of sloppy. Even back in the day, it's very sloppy now, but even back in the day it was kind of sloppy. And Hanneman was kind of the... He was kind of the writer most of the time and he was kind of the, uh, the more, you know... He, he was the nice guy of Slayer, I guess, and Tom Mariah, of course. <laughs> kind of the, the Santa Claus of... Um, of metal, fuck no. That's one hell of a statement though, or, or one hell of a, one hell of a human to be, I guess. Great band, a lot Slayer. If you know, um, I I actually think that most people think I hate Slayer, but um, I still like them. I actually really love Slayer. I love their early stuff. Uh, but people probably think I hate them because back in the day I was not too friendly towards them. But you know, I, I grew to love them, I guess. Uh, number 13 is The Edge and they don't include U2 on there because I think U2 is so well known that they don't really want to put it there I guess. Um, he has a lot of melody, I love The Edge, uh, he has a great sense of guitar playing. I think that his later records or their later records are horrible, you know the, the Innocence line and the No Line on the Horizon. Horrible, well No Line is mediocre. But those other two records are horrible. I fucking hate the, you know, the 2010 records. What the fuck were they thinking? Horrible records. Uh, you two just hang it up. Please stop making new music because you two is one of the finest definitions of bands. They should stop playing new music or stop making new music because they're just horrible. I just love, you know, their 80s work. I like, I love. Achtung Baby and everything after that I like. I like Zeropa and uh, Pop. Zeropa is underrated I would say. Pop is a little bit difficult to get into but it's still alright I guess. And you know I like um, that other record. How is it called again? Uh, all that you can leave behind. But it shows you know that they went to commercial um, and I don't really care for that commercial side. Uh, Atomic Bomb is alright but everything after that is shit. So you 2 great band, I love them. The Edge is great. He is a bit simplistic for my taste but still a great guitarist. But stop making new music, please. Just hang it up or just don't make any new music. Still tour because you're making a shitload of money out of that. But just please hang it up man. Just hang it up as in studio tools I guess. Number 12 is Andy Gill. Number 11 is Ron Ashton from the Stooges. Number 10, let's get into the top 10 with 5 more minutes. So I'm not going to talk about this too much, but just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, number 10 is Gem Master J from Run DMC. Run DMC is not, they don't have a guitar. They're just, you know, two guys that just, you know, are behind a, uh, a turntable. And they sample, I believe this sampled Aerosmith, which, you know, walked his way. Which I don't really care about. I uh, don't really care for Aerosmith. Uh, one of, well, not one of the worst rock bands I've heard, but I've definitely heard better. Um, and I'm just not a fan of them. Um, you know, I don't like. I don't really like rap. And Jam Master J is not a guitar, so this is bullshit. It's bullshit, Mark. I did not hit her. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, right, Mark. Uh, number 9 is Eddie Hazel from Funkadelic. Number 8 is Johnny Ramone from the Ramones. But I don't include that. Um, don't really care about him. You know, the, 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 there's the same fucking note over and over again. And that is the 8th eight, eight greatest guitars of all time. Does that make sense to you? No, it doesn't. So fuck spin. I actually need to flip on more spin because I believe I didn't flip them off with Skrillex, flip them off with Slayer, flip them off with Pantera. Uh, um, I love Pantera and Slayer, but they're kind of Shredder and Guitar God, so what the fuck uh, spin. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. 
Nummer 7 is Tom Verlaine en Richard Lloyd van Television. Nummer 6 is Prince. Um, of course, Prince is arguably the most underrated guitarist of all time. Uh, just an incredible musician. Just listen to the Purple Rain record. Listen to Purple Rain. <coughs> listen to 1999, you know. Many great songs, Sign of the Times, uh, incredible musician, uh, I love the guitar playing, it's so melodic, it's so diverse, it's so progressive, it just is everything you want out of you know a guitar player and Prince is just that. So I'm very happy that he is at the top of the list. Uh, number 5 Jay Meskis. Meskis. Number 4 is Kurt Cobain, uh, love Nirvana, I like uh, Kurt Cobain. But he was very sloppy and he is not the fourth, fourth, the fourth greatest guitarist of all time because he was just sloppy, he was out of his fucking mind. Although it, he is a good guitarist but he is not you know, the fourth greatest guitarist of all time, no way. Number 3 is John Fahey. Number 2 is Kevin Shields from My Bloody Valentine and number 1 is... Oh I need to go, go to another page for that, fucking hell. Number one is uh, Lee Ronaldo and Thurston Moore from Sonic Youth. I've heard of Sonic Youth, uh, still want to check them out. They're kind of a grungy band, I, I believe. But from what I've heard, they're not really the greatest guitars of all time, you know, sharing a spot, I guess. They're good. I like Sonic Youth, great grunge band if you want to call them that. I want to call them that, so there we go. But not the not the greatest guitar, but you know, at least like Stevie T said, it's not, you know, it's not a Skrillex, it's not a Run DMC. It's not a, you know, it's not a non-guitarist. It's an actual, these guys are actually playing an instrument. So there we go. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I thought it was bullshit. It was a horrible list. Uh, my favorite would be Chuck. Yeah, Chuck is my favorite. Uh, Prince, Love Prince. Uh, Dimebag, I guess, uh, Jeff Henneman, great guitarist, um, Tony Ayomi, of course, I'm just looking around the room, fuck no. Uh, but yeah, I was actually kind of surprised that, uh, John Lennon or, you know, George Harrison didn't make the list, not that I look at it, but, you know, it's their list and I respect that. Well, I don't respect that, fuck you, Spin, horrible list, Skrillex, Run DMZ, what the fuck were you thinking? I mean, seriously, I know that Skrillex plays the guitar, but really, Skrillex, fucking hell, man. Uh, you know, I, I can't be asked, I can't be asked, but they did include Chuck, so...